check whether the engine is running normally, and ensure that the engine is in the original factory state. Use tools to disconnect the negative electrode of the battery, and wrap it with insulating materials to prevent accidental contact. Remove the engine trim cover. Remove the fixing bolts of the air intake bellows air duct. Find the plug of the airflow meter. Press the lock on the plug and pull out the plug. Loosen the throttle fixing clamp. Take out the exhaust pipe on the intake pipe. Find the plug of the airflow meter and use a screwdriver to lift the lock on the harness. Loosen the buckle of the air inlet bellows. Take out the air inlet hose and the upper cover of the bellows. Take out the base of air inlet air box. Properly protect it for installation. Remove the throttle fixing screw and the engine water pipe fixing bracket screw on the throttle. Properly protect it for installation. Find the throttle plug. Press the lock on the throttle plug and pull out the plug. Pull out the carbon canister solenoid valve post. and brake connecting pipe. The disassembly is as shown in the figure. Press the pressure sensor to remove the lock card on the head and pull out the plug. Remove 5 fixing bolts of intake manifold. Remove the fixing bolts of intake manifold. Keep them properly. They will not be reused. Take out the refiller. Take out the intake manifold. Check whether there is carbon deposit on the engine valve. If there is, please clean it in time. Carbon deposition will affect the engine fuel injection and then affect the engine power, which is a routine maintenance item. Attention! Use fiber tape to seal the air inlet to prevent foreign matters from entering the engine. Find the ABS pump plug. Pull the plug up and out. Remove the harness protective sleeve on the harness plug of ABS pump. Insert the ABS pump wire harness removal head back. Fix the wire harness to the ABS pump brake pipe with tie. Use a tool to pull the belt tensioner. Note keep it in the vehicle for emergency use. Lift the vehicle and take out the belt. Attention! Keep it in the vehicle for emergency use. Take out the supercharger assembly. Take out the five sealing rings on the original intake manifold. Remove the protective tape. Attention! Check carefully. No foreign matter is allowed to enter. Assemble the sealing ring to the machining group on the intake manifold.
Remove the pressure sensor from the original intake manifold. and install it behind the turbocharger throttle. Install intake manifold double, head screw to engine intake manifold, cylinder head outlet. Lift the integrated supercharger kit. Align the supercharger with the air inlet and pass through the double head screw to the air inlet at the cylinder head of the manifold. Install the fixing screw under the intake manifold, tighten with wrench, and tighten other fixing bolts. The cavity surface of supercharger is about 1.5 cm away from the cylinder head. Plug in the pressure sensor plug. Engine, the crankshaft vent. Box pipe is connected to the joint of 514 behind the throttle valve. Use the remove for original throttle fixing bolts to fix and tighten them. Install the engine water pipe bracket back on the throttle valve. Use the original screw. Plug in the throttle position sensor plug. Install the solenoid valve and brake connecting pipe. Remove the fixing clip and bumper fixing bolt on the middle net decorative plate. And take out the middle net decorative plate. Remove the fixing bolts on the left and the right sides of the bumper. Properly protected for installation.
Remove the connecting plate and fixing both on the bumper and base plate. Pull out the left and right. Find the fog lamp plug. Press the lock on the plug and pull out the fog lamp plugs on both sides. Gently remove the bumper, properly protect for installation. Remove the two bolts at the water tank frame. Take out the radiator fixing bracket. Install the left and right fixed ports of radiator. Install the radiator on the radiator fixing bracket. Take out the water pump and water pump bracket fixing bolt. Assemble the water pump and bracket first. Install the electronic water pump. Take out radiator water pipe. Install the cooling water pipe. The water pump outlet to the lower interface of the radiator. Install the water pipe fixing clamp. Take out radiator water pipe seat. The cooling water pipe C2 is connected with the supercharged water cooling port. They interface near the radiator. Take out radiator water pipe B. The radiator water pipe B2 is connected with the water outlet of the radiator kettle. The cooling water pipe B1 is connected to the water inlet of the water pump.
Take out radiator water pipe B. The cooling water pipe B2 is connected with the cooling water kettle of the cooling system. The cooling water pipe B1 is connected with the supercharged water cooling core. Sometimes I faltered, I had bad days. Take out the kettle and fix the screw. Find the two screw holes at the left leaf plate of the engine. Install the kettle to the screw hole of the leaf plate. Take out the electronic water pump harness. Install the electronic water pump plug. Install the water pump, wiring harness and iron. The redundant ones are skillfully fixed with ties. The water pump wiring harness shall follow the original wiring harness to the fuse box. Open the fuse box. Take out the original vehicle fuse. Insert the water pump fuse and plug it back into the original vehicle fuse. Replace the fuse box cover. Water cooling pipeline diagram. Open the lid of the kettle and add the coolant. Open the key back and forth four five times and let the water pump circulate. Check the antifreeze in the kettle here. If there is no antifreeze, fill it here. After the turbocharger is installed, start the engine and let it idle. Check the air inlet for leaks and tighten any loose fittings. Keep away from moving parts. Turn off the engine. Let the engine cool down and check the coolant level in the kettle.
check left the belts on all pulleys are properly aligned. Attention! Install the engine belt. Belt diagram 